Good morning, my name is Ron Morris. This is Moving Forward TV, your local real estate and mortgage update. And I am Dylan Guest, and thanks for joining us. Today's topic is tis the season to be jolly and spend, 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 spend. <laughs> Whip out that plastic. But please resist, resist the, the urge. urge. We thought today would be an excellent time to remind anyone and everyone who's anywhere along the home buying process to be extremely careful with your credit <laughs> in your bank accounts. Yes, please. Here are some examples of what can happen. And believe me, we've seen them. We've seen it happen so many times. So let's say you're shopping at the mall, you got your plastic People in your hands. People shop at the mall this time of year? <laughs> or whatever, your cash. And you're at Sears, JCPenney's, Dillard's, wherever you are. And you know how you get to the register and they offer you an additional 10% off or 20% off Sign saving? Sign up for our credit card right now. We'll give you 10% off that purchase. Sign up for our credit card. <laughs> Don't do it. Please don't do it because what's going to happen is they will run your credit. And when they run your credit, it is going to show up on inquiry, your credit report, right? create an inquiry, and if an inquiry gets created, <laughs> you've got some explaining to do. What we have to do is we have to prove that you either didn't open a new credit card or if you did open a new credit card, how much do you owe on it? How much do you owe what's on it payment? and what's the payment? Now, and if you didn't open the credit card, then we have to get a letter from them saying you didn't open the credit card. So just don't let them, just don't resist the urge for that additional 10 or 20% off. Please don't do it. <laughs> and actually, even playing along those lines, even if it's a very innocent thing and you didn't open the credit card up, whether you did or didn't, doesn't matter. They're going to pull credit yes. probably the day, the day of closing, the day before closing. So what's that going to do? create a lot of problems. It's going to create it could, a delay. It, Basically, right. is what's going to happen. You're not going to close on time, so resist that urge. Lucy, you've got some <laughs> splaining to do. Okay, now let's say that you don't open up a new credit card, but you just have your existing... I use my own. You have your existing credit cards in your hand, you have your plastic, and there you are at the mall and these great deals. Please don't. Do not use your credit cards. Please try and buy with cash this holiday season because if you buy with credit, again, they're going to rerun your credit either day before day of closing, right. and it could create a lot of problems. If they're you did go see out that and use activity it, regardless. They're going to, then they're going to have to rerun your approval and get new findings with the new payment in there because your credit card is now has a higher balance and that could mean you know best case best case it means a delay worst case no soup for you <laughs> worst case if your debt if you happen to be maxed out at your debt ratio anyway that extra payment extra thirty four dollar a month payment it, it could be a deal killer More it's possible delay. we've seen that before we don't just don't that use your credit we don't want to see that happen to you right before christmas and i know you don't want to see it happen just as important as credit mm -hmm. are your bank accounts. Do not, and I repeat, do not move any money around until after your closing's Please. taken place. In the event you happen to have a relative or somebody maybe giving you Christmas Early gift, Christmas present uh, to help out a, with the house, home buy-in gift or right. something like that, you're going to deposit bucks, that, that money in the bank account. Don't do it. Please. Talk to your mortgage professional first. There are ways it can be done, but we need to know ahead of time. It's referred to as paper trailing in the business. Copy the check, copy the deposit slip. It gets really involved, and really there's an easier way to do it. Talk to us. Yeah. Don't move any and money I'm, around. And I was just going to say, you know what? If they give you cash, cash is like a no-no in the mortgage business. So if they give you cash, just don't even think about depositing Put that. Put it just, under your pillow until, your home, until, your, right. until you have the keys. Right. Or go <laughs> buy your lawnmower or whatever with cash. Right, That's right. fine. Do not put that cash in, into your account. Be very mindful of your closing money as well because <laughs> don't don't spend the money that you have already saved. Again, in this holiday season, it's, it's, it's hard to resist, but please resist. Do not go spending the money that was there. And I say this because it's been done before. Um, I still can't believe this story. This uh, is a true story. It's a true story. <laughs> Somebody went out and spent their down payment money. They didn't think anything of it. Then they, you know, they spent the down payment money that they had saved because they just went to the bank and got a loan like a week or so before closing to replace the money, um, just a signature loan. Well, that was a problem? And they thought that that was going to be okay, and it wasn't. And I'll be honest, it just killed the whole deal. Everything died, died right there. So please, be very mindful. You cannot replace that money. Don't touch your checking accounts, please, <laughs> or savings accounts. That's our show this week. Thanks so much for joining us. If you're a realtor watching this for the first time, please subscribe over here. And also, this is a great show to forward. Get it out to those buyers. Um, get it out to your potential, potential buyers. buyers sellers, whatever, this is a really good show for them to see as well. We are also on Facebook, we LinkedIn, are. YouTube, Twitter, we're on all of those, share it as 
um, as well there. And keep us in mind, we're here to help buyers. If you have any questions uh, from a realtor, mm -hmm. from a buyer, from a seller, keep us in mind. Reach out to us. That's what we do this show for every week. I believe there's we're actually even a phone number. wealth of information. You can even reach us by phone, by email, and of course all that social networking stuff as well. And don't forget our sponsors, or excuse me, our team over here. They're a wealth of information. Really help us get those deals to the closing table. We use them every single day and we know they can help you as well. We are today and every day. Moving forward, we'll see everybody next week. Bye-bye. You want bread? Yes, please. Three dollars! <laughs> what? Nothing for you!